Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love reading for this week of November 25th to December 2nd. Time is fluid. Stick around towards the end, Leo. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for the week. So let's see what you got in your theme cards for love. Let's see what's going on with you in your energy. First card out is the garden. Okay, when this energy comes through, why is it so bright? When this energy comes through, this is a card that signifies that you have been putting in the work. When the garden comes through, it's that energy of, I have been working on myself, I have been learning, I have been evolving, and the garden indicates that you are ready to share what you have grown and what you have found inside of you with another person. So some of you may be finding yourself more ready to share yourself or more ready to share your heart, and you also have the energy of commitment. There you go. Okay, so I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you are in a position of really feeling that commitment to yourself, really feeling that energy of wholeness. Some of you, that is what you are being guided to do and sit in that energy of being committed to yourself and that reflects outwardly into your life in attracting commitment your way or a committal person in your energy. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos, that is what your energy is attempting to align with. So if you are in a relationship, it could be that there is a new level of love to this connection. Others of you singles could be very much in a position of finally feeling ready, finally feeling whole, finally feeling more secure in your own energy to open up to connecting to someone. Let's see what we have in your Mystic Moon Oracle here for you, Leo. And what's going on for love? First card out is Fifth Dimension. Some of you may be having some dreams, signs, synchronicities. When Fifth Dimension comes through, the universe is asking you to pay attention to your dreams. Some of you may have had a dream of someone here, and that is confirming it. We have healing. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you also have conclusion. Okay, so there is a cycle closing to your energy. Some of you, solo journeys end. Um, you will not be single for much longer. Some of you will not feel in that position of not being around energies much longer. So if you haven't been dating, that energy could be concluded and you may be opening up more to someone or to seeing what's out there. Others of you, there could be a cycle that is concluding for you and someone that is going to move this connection to a higher level. Let's see what else we have. For love in the Oracle, you have some really nice cards coming through. You have a flyer here with forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. I feel like that may have been what you've been working on in the garden. Your subconscious is going to guide you with the fifth dimension to forgive and heal. Your subconscious is going to guide you in exactly what direction of what you need to heal, whom you need to forgive to align more with that higher level commitment in love. Let's see, on the energy of healing, we have patience. Okay, and on conclusion, we have laughter. Okay, so I feel like there's some good vibes coming into your love life here, and I feel like for a while, you may have really like, I don't want to say you've been waiting. I don't get a waiting position for all of you. I kind of feel like for some of you, you've just been focusing on your own energy and being patient with your own healing. And I feel like you're going to feel warmer in this energy. If your energy was very hard or very closed off or very tough or just not really letting energy in because of something that had to be healed. I mean, you have the word heal twice. So this is a very healing week for love for you. And I get with laughter and conclusion, you know, when you experience love and then you find yourself single and you're like, will I ever be able to connect with someone the way I connected to this person? 
the universe is giving you a yes to that. If you didn't think that you'd be able to find a key to opening up your heart again with love, there could be something that happens for you around this time where you do find yourself enjoying someone. And like I said, patience is here, but I don't get a waiting energy. For some of you, there is an energy of healing with someone that is going to take time. But for others of you, I feel like it's being patient with your own healing. So let's see what we got going on here in the tarot theme cards and get some more energy out. I'm just going to do it general instead of making it you versus them. I'll make the next week you versus them and see what comes through. But this one's going to be general. Let's see. We have changed your focus with the five of cups. Yeah. So you may have actually been disappointed with love for a while. Maybe the last five months. I mean, fifth dimension, five of cups being on this number five. And also fives indicate change. So for a lot of you, whatever cycle of healing you have been in is about to be completed, about to be opened up to newer energy. Some of you were recently disappointed and the universe is kind of like accept and move on, change your focus and journey forward. We also have five alone, five alone. Look at me go. Oh my God. Feeling alone. Another number five. Some of you may have felt abandoned or abandoned someone or something to focus on your healing. Ugh, you got five of pentacles on healing and patience. Oh, gosh. Okay, some of you, there could be a resurfacing of someone that there was a separation with or some type of distance with. And we have the Ace of Cups. New love and renewed love here. So you have 555 five, five with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of you, totally new person coming in, or there could be a very strong position that there is a conclusion to a separation cycle. I don't know how long you've been separated from this person. Take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If you're open to new love, this definitely could be for you. If you're open to healing with someone after some type of change or distance... This could also be happening. I will, Oh, the Ace of Cups at the end is crazy. Oh, my God. I felt it right when I seen five of, five of Pentacles to Patience to Healing. I was like, don't tell me there could be an offer from a past person. They may not even be a past, past individual. There could have just been some type of healing process that you two had to go through before, like, aligning the heart. Let's clarify this. All right. Five of Cups to the Six of Swords. Yeah, some of you may find resolution with someone that there's been distant with, distance with. Whether there was actual talk about this distance or it just happened. Five of Pentacles to the Lovers. Yeah, that's a reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Some of you, soulmate, just a soulmate coming in or a strong reconciliation here. Dang, I know some of y'all don't like to hear that word, but what do you want me to say? Ace of Cups to the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this offer is going to possibly create a little bit of overthinking for you. I'm not sure if you like totally wrote this person off or you kind of just weren't expecting love to come in that quickly. Because I almost feel like for some of you, there was a conclusion to a cycle with someone and then here comes a new person and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't know it was going to happen that fast. Others of you, there could have been separation with someone and here they come back in and some of you maybe just weren't expecting the return of this person. All right, let's see. Your advice with this week is the King of Swords. So your advice is to use logic this week. Your advice is to think of things in a very reasonable way, realistically, stuff like that. And your outcome is the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Some of you, the past is coming back. But, you know, doesn't mean that everyone doesn't want to hear that. Some of y'all do want to hear that there is a reunion going to take place. 
Now, for some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a past person. The lovers, the six of cups could also indicate a past life soulmate, like someone that is very familiar to you, someone that you just see their face and you're like, hold on. Why do I feel like I know you, but I never met you before? Could be something like that. I don't necessarily feel like it has to be reconciliation for all of you. Let's clarify this whole thing one more time. You may receive like an emotional... Con Someone may express their feelings for you and like you did not expect them to express how they feel for you. Let's see. The Six of Swords to the High Priestess. So you are withdrawn in the garden. Your energy is focusing on healing. Regaining power. The Lovers to the Queen of Wands. So you are highly magnetic, whether you're aware of it or not. When you sit in a healed state, when you focus on your healing, when you focus on your evolution, you just naturally become magnetic. So some of you, this offer is going to show you. Now, I read in synchronization of the card. So in my perception as a reader, this is the beginning of the week. This is towards the end of the week. So this offer may come in during your shifting, during your evolution, during your healing this week. And on the Eight of Swords, on this Ace of Cups, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so someone wants to connect to you or reconnect to you. But I feel like for some of you, because of the fact you have the Queen of Wands, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel like some of you could be slightly questionable on, is this person just connecting to or reconnecting to me because they like the way I look? Is it because they want my attention? Some of you may have a question mark towards this person, but someone's around or coming around. King of Swords as your advice with the Temperance card. So be patient. Let the situation unravel as it shall. Um, because you do have the Eight of Swords here. So that can indicate that some of your thoughts are irrational and are just straight from fear. So be patient with yourself in this process. And the Six of Cups as your outcome with strength. Whew. All right, so this is very interesting. A part of you in your outcome is wanting to give the love back, but then another part of you is like, not too much. Oh, we're not going to show too much love. I don't want them to think I've been missing them or waiting for them. Six of Cups is your outcome could indicate like an actual words where someone says like, hey, Leo, I've missed you or hey, Leo. <coughs> Sorry. Something along the lines where they do indicate maybe they've been thinking about you. And if it's not the case of a past person, I feel like this could be a new individual. And I feel like they're going to show you their heart. But there could be a slight iffiness on you showing some of your heart back. I mean, your advice is to not like uh, fall. Your advice is to not fall too fast, I want to say. So... Let's clarify this position here. Two of Cups, advice and outcome, please, for Leo for the week. Two of Cups with the Page of Swords. There could be a slight difference in the way you and this person communicate with each other. You two may be, like, learning how to communicate with each other. Or there could be a little bit of, like, reading in between the lines, per se. This person is going to try to spark your curiosity or make you curious or interested in them again. Advice with temperance to judgment. Oh, goodness. Wow. Your advice is to learn from what you know. What have you learned in the past? What have you learned about love? What have you learned about yourself? What have you learned about other people? Use it logically this week. They're really being guided to sit in the logical mindset here. And on the Six of Cups to Strength as your outcome, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, so someone's wanting happiness from you. Someone's wanting a connection out of you, possibly even some commitment. And I want to say that it could be surprising. I mean, the Tower isn't here, but it kind of does look like it could be a surprise for some of you. But your outcome is 
kind of like going back and forth of how much love you want to give to this situation or to this person, how much of your feelings you want them to see. And I honestly don't feel like, at least for this week, I don't feel like you're going to show much. But it doesn't mean you might not show anything at all. So let's look into the second half of this reading. In terms of the zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have Pisces, you have Virgo, and you have Leo and Sagittarius. Oh, and you have Gemini. And you have a whole lot of fives. So pay attention to the number five. If you've been seeing it, if you haven't been seeing it, you may definitely start to see it now. So let's look into it all the way from Aries to Pisces. Each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you for the week. Take what resonates with this portion as well. Leave the rest behind. Do not force it to fit. If it's not yours this time around, it's just not yours and that's okay. So all the way from Aries to Pisces, please show me each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards Leo for the week. All right, Leo, here we go. Starting off with Aries. Finding out the truth crushed me and the five of pentacles. So some of you feel like Aries have left you out. Others of you may feel like Aries did something that made you feel like you had to leave them out. Um, the devil and the two of swords could have been a toxic situation here and the seven of wands. Okay, I feel like you could be dealing with an Aries who has no idea what they're doing. I mean, the devil to the two of swords. Um, this person doesn't see their own toxic ways. This person doesn't see what they're doing. Um, finding out the truth crushed them in some type of way. Possibly you told them how you felt and that wasn't necessarily what they were looking on hearing. Their actions towards you could be slightly toxic, so I would be a little bit weary of a Aries and or they may not really take any action towards you. With the Seven of Wands here to the Seven of Pentacles, there could be like a weight around a situation with an Aries. Next up is uh, Taurus. We will be together again and the Five of Wands. Could have been some difficulty drama with a Taurus here. Why do you have the five of wands, the fool? Um, after some type of difficulty and or challenge, argument, possibly even other people involved, um, there could be a new start between you and a Taurus after some really difficult energy. Next up is Gemini. I wish I had treated you better and the tower... So some of you at Gemini may be coming in with an apology that could be very surprising. They wish they had treated you better after treating you wrong and possibly with the Knight of Pentacles here, they're finally ready to say something and finally ready to put their foot forward and possibly apologize here. Next up is do, 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 Cancer. I want to be more than friends and the death card. All right, could be an end to just being friends with a Cancer and moving towards more. Um, possibly there was a friend zone situation and now Cancer is having a change of heart. And with the Ten of Cups, Cancer does feel like they could see overall happiness with you. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you may receive some wish fulfillment from a Cancer where there was either an end or change to this situation. They definitely want to move forward with you now. Um, next up is Leo. So many things remind me of you and the King of Wands. So Leo is highly attracted towards you with the King of Wands, the High Priestess. They may not necessarily be showing it that much, but with the Eight of Wands here, I feel like Leo may hit you with some type of confession, conversation, or may say a bunch of things to you at once and it may come out of nowhere because they may have been hiding their attraction, but they're not hiding it much anymore this week. Next up is Virgo. You came closer than anyone and the Ace of Cups. So a love offer coming in from a Virgo. Some of you may also meet a totally new Virgo. You came closer than anyone. And with the Ace of Cups, they are wanting you to get closer to them. As well as possibly a new Virgo that will make you an offer. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. All right, so definitely movement forward with a Virgo. Page of Pentacles, apology even. 
Page of Pentacles for new Virgo also could be planning like dates or planning to see each other. Page of Pentacles indicates that. Next up is Libra. I know I was a distraction from your pain and the Hierophant. So Libra wants commitment. They want higher level commitment. They feel like possibly you use them for some type of distraction. And with the Magician and the Queen of Wands, I feel like Libra is trying to manifest commitment out of you here, Leo. And with the Queen of Wands, they take action. So maybe getting some action from a Libra this week, some attention. They may actually even like tell you how they're feeling. Next up is Scorpio. I regret lying to you and the Ace of Pentacles. So an offer coming in from a Scorpio here, possibly even an offer of commitment. They may have lied to you about something or didn't tell you the whole truth about something, but here they come with an offer, Ace of Pentacles, and they want to grow or regrow this connection. Sagittarius. I hope that you can forgive me one day and the star. So Sagittarius looks at you as their wish fulfillment. They're hoping that you two can heal and there could be forgiveness, four of wands, and even a relationship in the future. I feel like Sagittarius could be feeling slightly remorseful about something, and they're really hoping and praying that you two have a reconnection. Um, I kind of feel like, I mean, it is their birthday season. Four of wands can indicate like being at a party or a celebration. Possibly Sagittarius feels like hopefully maybe you'll like reach out to them for their birthday. Next up is Capricorn. Wait, is this Capricorn? Why do I feel like there's not many cards out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, it's Capricorn. Okay, you and I were too young and the Hermit. So Capricorn is saying to themselves this week, they may be ill, injured, or you two are just in separation. Um, you and I were too young could be an indication that there was too much in immaturity or possibly distance in age. Ten of Swords. Okay. King of Cups, Six of Wands. All right, I feel like eventually Capricorn will come out of Hermit mode for some of your recognition, attention, reassurance of the connection. Um, but it looks like for a majority of the week, they will be to themselves. Next up is Aquarius. I'm starting to understand our connection and the Knight of Swords. So some of you may hear from an Aquarius out of nowhere. Knight of Swords says something like really quickly. It's like, hey, or like, how are you doing? Um, Knight of Swords could also be an indication of something that's being said to stir you up. An Aquarius might try to trigger you to see if you'll answer, um, but could hear from an Aquarius out of nowhere. They're starting to understand something about your two's connection. Why do they have the Knight of Swords? Empress. Okay. And Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. A lot of you may definitely hear from an Aquarius out of nowhere. Some of you may also meet a new Aquarius. Some of you may also even have two Aquariuses around you. Okay, and lastly, we have Pisces. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and justice. All right, so there is a very high possibility that Pisces feels like there was some unfair energy in this connection, whether you were unfair to them or they were unfair to you. Um, justice to strength. It looks like there was a choice being made to pull back and choose a new path forward. So although you and Pisces may not be super connected, they do still think about you a lot in some type of degree. I kind of feel like with the Two of Wands, they could have a slight anticipation of possibly you two connecting in the future, but more or less for the week, not much. All right, let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Leo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, thank you, my wonderful, beautiful, amazing Leos. Um, I'm working on, I ordered a new light sign situation for my name here, but it's being customly made. So I guess that means it just takes a whole lot longer than the random things I buy off of Amazon that come the next day. So please be patient. We're going to have some neon vibes here soon. I'm so excited. And I got the one that changes colors so I can like have it in the Leo vibes. Um, also another announcement, don't forget to check out the podcast. We have a bunch of new episodes and a bunch of new guests on there as well as new episodes coming out. And also I will be back on my main Miss Machiste's channel. I rebranded it to Miss Machiste Spiritual Lab. I will be doing monthly readings. I also may like vlog on there and do some vlogging shorts of like me 
throughout my life and the days of how I've lived my life in a spiritual way um, to create more of an interconnection between us as the online community is me as a person. So stay tuned for that if you do not have um, or were aware that I have an all sign channel and you wish to cross watch those December readings if you have obviously sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, or if you want to cross watch someone else's sign, December monthly readings will be out on my main channel, as well as I'll start vlogging some shorts of my life, or maybe even do like long videos and do like weekly, how I live my life spiritually vibes. Um, yeah. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. That's my announcement. Thank you for being here and for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So you get an alert when a new reading is out. And don't forget to like this video so we connect to more beautiful Leos just like you. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.